I was listening to the Washington Post video section that comes at the end of every week where they show, you know, four or five minute videos that, that somehow made an impression on the public during the week or which had something to do with the news. And I was introduced to a, a young lady named L. Mills, uh, who is 19 years old and who is a star uh, on YouTube. She has been for several years on and off, and she's still trying to figure out how to form this career into something useful and meaningful. And so, although I never really watched those kind of personal slice of life, playing with your cat, laughing with your friends videos, or very infrequently, because of her odd seriousness on some videos and her odd lack of seriousness on others, I began to be kind of curious about her. Um, and I knew she had an audience of admirers and some dedicated patrons. And I, I wanted to look in more, so I watched eight or ten of her well-known videos. And they made me want to say something to L. Mills. Remember, I've been teaching for over 30 years, and I've known hundreds and hundreds of people between the age of 17 or 18 and 22, 23, and some older, of course. So it's not unusual for me to have an interest or to wonder about the direction and the life of people in this group. And L. struck me as a particularly interesting case of a, of a kind of special person framed in a special way for her generation. So I wrote her a letter, and I'm going to read it to you. Hi, L. I thought I would talk to you briefly as a new viewer. I have seen some of your early videos that are based on pop songs or the performance of pop songs and some of your later sillier escapades. Far be it from me to wish that a high schooler shouldn't have fun with her friends and peers. That's one of the goals of high school, I suppose. Your first kiss was a nervous, fidgety event, a little less significant than a first kiss might be in private. Your coming out as a bisexual was mostly sad and uncomfortable. You might have done it to a few people who might actually care about your life and your choices. Your roasting of your older brother, a nice but uncooked guy, uncooked means a long way to go, described him, this roast, described him as a carrier of STDs and an untrustworthy and callous boyfriend. That was unkind. And now you have shown your post-high school self in a terrifying light, miserable, depressed, disoriented, confused. You have a very winning smile and a spontaneous comic sense, though you are not yet a comedian. You have been a video star and in videos uh, for many years, your life has been played out in public, and that's an experience most of us have never had. You have millions of followers, but what are they following? You are not yet the producer you aspire to be. You are not yet the actress you aspire to be. That will take many years of labor and learning and practice. You are fighting to maintain your natural sense of joy. It seems to be growing tenuous and thin. Be careful. Life is long. High school is not the place where we form all our values and find our lasting friends. That takes more time, more age, and more wisdom. With your obvious energy and intelligence, you will be a good, even a great college student. I know. I have been teaching those teenagers for 32 years. I am on your side, L. Mills. 
But when I see you talking about the breakdown of your mental health in public, as if you could judge that, and as if your audience is worthy of considering such a serious topic, I worry. You should shape your talent carefully and find some alone time to contemplate what you really want in a long and unpredictable life. Read some books that push you into new territories of thought, that challenge your easy, ironic, detached relation to the people around you. Read some books. And, and in the end, remember your religious heritage. It may come in handy someday when things become more serious. Again, be careful and be happy.